Hello guys, it's Toby here, back again on the Snorri Dev Team channel, and no, today I'm not playing a game. Today I'll be showing you how to play Kerbal Space Program multiplayer. Now, I know this is a common issue people have been complaining for forever, but Kerbal Space Program, uh, the way it's set up, it's very hard to get synchronous multiplayer. So what this does is the next best thing. You get non-synchronous multiplayer, so it's only recommended for one or two of your good friends that you're willing to play with. You can't set up big servers this way, but you can share your creations and you can put stuff into orbit and your friends will see it and they'll be able to use it and you can switch off ships, you can have your friends do some missions if you don't want to do something, if your friend's better at some things than others, they can do stuff for you. Uh, all the multiplayer functions work except you can't uh, be on at the same time. Now, the way I did this was, uh, the friend I'm playing this with, it does work uh, because I am doing it, uh, they sent me this link uh, to Nimgur album, and I will link to it in the description below, you can click on that. And what I'll do is I'll just restate what this is saying in, hopefully, an easier to understand video. So, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create your save folder, which I've already done, I've called it Snorri, and then you're going to want to cut it and paste it into your Dropbox folder like I have. So, uh, I've already created the folder in Kerbal Space Program, you're going to want to go into the uh, the game and you're going to want to create it, and you're going to want to cut and paste it Dropbox. The reason why it's already here is because that takes a bit of time to open and close Kerbal Space Program as it's a large program. Now, uh, now that you know the destination of this folder, make sure it's in Dropbox. You're going to go to Dropbox. You're going to want to go here, and you're going to want to make sure that this is shared. So you're going to want to share uh, this folder, which I've called Snorri. That's a Kerbal Space Program save file, again, that I've cut and pasted into Dropbox, and you're going to want to share it with your friends. And again, it'll, g it'll give you all this information. We don't need to do that right now, but share it uh, with, your fr with your friend. Uh, Dropbox is the easiest way to do this. I suppose you do it on other things, but Dropbox is free, and you can, uh, it's pretty easy to use, and that's what I'm using. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a symbolic link. Now, the symbolic link is a lot like an alias, except for the fact that it creates its own uh, destination. So rather than linking to where the folder is, it copies what's in the folder, but it keeps it in uh, in your save file. So I'll show you here. If we go to the Kerbal Space Program saves, this is my shared folder that I'm using with my friend. Um, as you can see, it goes saves shared, even though it looks like it's using the alias, it actually continues to go in. So again, this is not an alias. This is not an alias, this is a symbolic link. Well, how do you create a symbolic link? Using this tool, Simlink Creator 1.1.1.3. Now, I know anything with that many ones usually sounds like a virus. Well, I will prove to you that it is not a virus. However, uh, another thing that may concern you is that it does need to be run in administrator mode. If it's not run in, administ in administrator work, uh, mode, it will not work. So we're going to run this as an administrator. Now you're going to want to know where your Kerbal Space Pro Program folder is, again, to save time. Uh, I've just put it in here, but in case you don't know and you have Steam and you're using it that way, it's in C, Program Files, Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Kerbal Space Program, Saves. And then we're going to want to find our uh, destination folder, um, whoops, I mean our uh, target folder, and that would be the Snorri inside Dropbox. So I'm just going to copy that because that's where my Dropbox is located. We're now going to go back to the symbolic link creator and we're going to paste that link down. And now this will just name the folder for you, must fill this out. So we're going to call it Snorri, and if this works, it should create a symbolic link uh, right in to your saves for folder in Kerbal Space Program. So it'll create an error noise, but it still worked. And as you see, it just popped up Snorri, and it is its own. Uh, it does create its own folder, copying everything that's in that folder. And it, uh, the difference between that and just copying the folder is that it does it constantly. So every time you update 
this folder, it'll update the Dropbox folder. Every time you update the Dropbox folder, it'll update this folder. You're going to want to do the same things with your friends. After you've shared it with your friends, they're going to have it on their Dropbox. And make sure they follow these steps as well. Tell them to download Symbolic Link Creator, put in uh, their target and their destination folders, and tell them to do the same thing. And then, when you open up Kerbal Space Program, it will, in fact, have Snorri as an option to play. And you will both be able to play that same save file. I will uh, reiterate that you cannot play this at the same time, but you can play it uh, together. So if I wanted to send uh, a, let's say I have a really good design for a space station, I want to send that up into space, but I don't really know what to link to it. I'm not good at building la landers, so I have I just log out of the game and I say on Steam, assuming you have it on Steam, hey buddy, do you wanna do you wanna land on the moon for me? Oh sure, um, but I don't have a lot of time. Let me just uh, dock it with your with your space station, and you can refuel it, and you can land, it, and you can try landing for the first time. And you go, oh, thanks. So then you come back and you'll see his, when you reopen the game, you don't have to do anything other than open the game. You don't have to copy, you don't have to paste, and everything will be there. I will, uh, again, all these links are in the description. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments below. Uh, what else would be appreciated would be a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They both work equally well. I'd also ask you to share why. Again, not required, but definitely appreciate it. If you really liked it, it'd be great if you could subscribe uh, and watch more of our videos. We're using this to fund, uh, to fund our projects for licenses such as Steam Greenlight and to buy other programs that we might need. So uh, subscribe if you like it and uh, thank you for watching guys. I really hope this helps. If you are still confused, I can always create another video. I can always answer your question in the comments down below. Uh, I'm Toby. This has been the Snorri Dev Team.